Let me introduce myself. I'm Jack Marshall. Good for you. Do you know Phil Baruca? Why do you say that? It seems that everybody's his friend. You know, I couldn't care less. You are really a beautiful woman. I know. I'd like to get to know you better. Uh, could I buy you a drink? I don't drink anything but pure water. Then let me take you to a hot spring. Do you know a Mrs. Parrish? Not too close to <laughs> But a little bit too close to avoid her. You see, I'm her sister. Look, if you really want to get to know me, we give you my card, call my secretary, and make an appointment. Cheryl Devine. You're the executive director of Balboa Incorporated. You own half the island. Not exactly. You see, I run it. My father owns it. And then there's my sister who spends all the money. That is until my father cut her off. Really? How about dinner tonight? I don't like talking to private investigators. And it's written all over your face. Then how about a walk on the beach? Too windy. And the sand makes my feet itch. You can borrow my saddles. <laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, our club is comprised of many businesses from throughout our area. Today it gives me distinct honor to introduce to all of you one of the newest members of our club, the gentleman responsible for the construction of the fine medical facility immediately behind us. I give you Mr. Phil Baruca. Thank you. Thank you. It's a distinct honor to be asked to be a member of the South Coast Metro Rotary Club. Gentlemen, behind me in the distance you see what is likely to be a first for Balboa the first medical facility serving Balboa, Balboa Memorial, a hospital dedicated to the memory of our forefathers. I take great pleasure to announce today that my land corporation, Tritex, has donated this land to the people of Balboa. Excuse me, uh, Mr. Broca. But isn't it true that you have sold major shares of stock in your memorial hospital? Gentlemen, for a man of such generosity, uh, wouldn't you consider all this highly irregular? Hey, sit down. Sit down. Uh, sorry, gentlemen, but it appears that Mr. Baruka's generosity doesn't go past the mansion that he has to pay off on Balboa Island. Sergeant at Arms, please remove this gentleman. That's all right. We'll handle this. You could do a Rotary Club. What is this, man? What is this? Ladies and gentlemen, I, uh, I apologize for this interruption. Phil, uh, now you have the podium. Thank you. I'm very sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, as I was saying, we're building this hospital for the people of Balboa. Sorry guys, but I've got another appointment. Uh, send me the bill for your suits. Better yet, send it to Mr. Baroka. It seems like he could afford the bill. Stacy, where are you? 
Did anybody see in the lobby? Good. We'll get up here quick. They're on to us. That private investigator's on to us. Now get up here. Get up here now. Anything on me, pal. My lawyer's gonna send you back to L.A. I believe that if you were Phil Baruka, but we both know better, don't we? Francis was right. You were a great private detective. It's too bad you got greedy. She'd be glad to know her P.I. is still alive. Seems the police found Phil Baruka's body lying face up in the ocean this morning. They were gonna blame it on the guy who killed Mrs. Thomas. He'd been dead 48 hours. And then I remembered, I saw Phil Baruca last night. It's amazing what a little hair dye and face powder will do. I don't know, I used it. Guess I'm not in the caboose anymore. Oh my God. Kid, it's you. Kid, you know what you've done. I've been following you around, Mr. Marshall. When you chased Baruka out of the room, my wife came in. She was waiting for him. I just couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't. That's the way it ended, with me taking the ambulance ride to the hospital and uh, hearts and minds of America wondering, will he be back? Mm -hmm. Open to the sequel. <laughs> well, I see you've had no trouble making friends on Balboa. Francis, they all love the show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, I just came by to say thanks. I guess you'll be heading, heading back to L.A. Well, actually, I thought I might stick around a while until you get another P.I. Of course, it would only be temporary until I get another series. <laughs> I'd be delighted. <laughs> great, great. Now, excuse me, Francis, but I was just telling these young ladies about the time that Mitchum and I had to solve a case in the show. Anyway, uh, he was a guest star, so it was up to me to show him the ropes. And believe me, I might have been a little intimidated, but he was gracious. <laughs>